Hey, I'm Roland with netbooknews.com and .de, and I'm right here with Aaron Sego, who's doing a tiny little tablet that's called uh, the Spark tablet, that's actually going to be based on the KDE Plasma uh, UI. So, Aaron, tell me about it. Sure. Well, the hardware itself, it's an ARM-based tablet, a 1 gigahertz CPU from AM Logic. Uh, the base configuration has half a gig of RAM, uh, 4 gigs of internal storage. It has two USB ports, one of which is host, so you can actually plug storage into it, 3G, GPS units, etc. Uh, it has a micro SD card, the usual... Show me the ports, please. Yeah, sure. So the two USB, uh, this one's host. Um, it has HDMI out, uh, micro SD. I actually have an SD card in there right now. Um, and of course, the usual three and a half millimeter jack, nothing too exciting there. Um, it's got the, for hardware buttons, it's got power, volume, and it's got the usual, what we know from the Android world, the back to home, the, the grid button. I don't even know what the actual name for that button is. I always call it the grid. Anyways. Um, so inside of it, I said it's an AM Logic uh, Cortex A9 with a Mali 400 GPU. Um, and as you mentioned, it's using the uh, KDE Plasma Active uh, UI. And what kind of differentiates this from other uh, user interfaces is most of them when you turn on the device, you get a row of icons, a grid of icons uh, that lets you launch apps. For us, we're looking at, we, we kind of look at it from a perspective of a post-consumer device. Uh, we're not treating the owners of the device as consumers, but as actual owners of a technology. And our goal is to make something that actually makes people's lives somehow better, uh, basically supports what they're trying to do in life. So it's focused on the concept of activities. And you can create an activity for each thing that you're doing. So whether you're planning a vacation, or in this case we have an introductory one, so you can actually learn how the system works. Um, and you can create an activity for each thing that you're doing. If you're a student, maybe it's one per class. If it's uh, if you're an engineer at an engineering uh, uh, firm, maybe it's one per client and one per project. Um, so you create your activities, and with the activities you can have different layouts of widgets, and it's an infinite kind of vertical scrolling canvas. Uh, we have widgets for all kinds of things, microblogging, uh, news feeds, calculators, notes, etc., documents, websites, whatnot. Um, you can also associate people, contacts, um, and applications. So we do have the hard to actually grab it from this angle. There we go. Um, we do have the applications that you can uh, launch games, uh, but we also have productivity apps such as groupware, email, calendaring, uh, office suite software so you can read your PowerPoints on the road. All those exciting things, right? Um, and the strip here shows you all the applications you're running right now. And the applications are also associated with the activity that you're in. Uh, so that's the basic concept of the UI, is activities. And it's really designed to uh, reflect who you are and what you're doing and what you're interested in. So we started with the 7-inch uh, tablet for a few reasons. One, we really like the form factor. It's something you can slip in your pocket and walk out the door with. The 10-inch is nice, but it's a bit heavier. It's not quite, you need a bag, you know, to throw it in. Um, this is something that you can literally throw in your pocket. It's not so expensive that you're worried about, you know, uh, do I have to take extra good care of it? Um, it's a really nice starter device. So this is where we, uh, where we've begun it. All right. Do you actually plan to do a 10-inch version of it, or? Absolutely. So that's something that we'll right. be uh, releasing uh, later this year as well. Okay. Cool. And we're actually going beyond tablet uh, because so the software on here, which is Plasma Active, is related to KDE's other workspaces: Plasma Desktop, Plasma Netbook. Yeah. Uh, the desktop, uh, the actual shell itself, Plasma, is around a third of a million lines of code. The tablet is only about 12,000 lines of code different, even though it has an utterly different user interface and a different way of, of interacting with it. Um, and this is part of the actual purposeful design. So we're going to be taking this beyond even just tablets. We're looking at doing uh, media center applications where you have a box you plug into your home theater, yeah. and then you actually interact with it and control it using your tablet. So you right. don't have a remote control because we all hate remote controls. Why does everyone give us a remote control? Uh, you walk into your room, your tablet associates with the device, and you have a nice humane interface, more like what in the modern human expects from an iPod or whatnot, to look through your media, interact with it, and then say, yeah, I want to listen to that or watch that on my TV. And then when you're watching it, you have all the usual power you have in your tablet to do things like tweet. That was the best you know, show I ever saw you know, from whatever, you know, Fringe or Big Bang Theory. So 
we're going beyond uh, just tablet as well, but this is our starting point in the device world. All right. So I heard it's going to be all the way open, or as far as you can yeah. get it open. So how, yeah. how far are you actually on this? So currently, um, on this device, we're down to two binary uh, objects. One is the Wi-Fi firmware, which is a nut that we have yet to crack. I don't think anyone has. The other one is the GPU, which is the Mali 400. Right now, there's only a proprietary driver for it. There is a reverse engineering project that is funded to work on a open source version of the uh, GPU driver called Lima Project, which is very cool. Um, we're also working with the hardware manufacturers themselves. So there's a lot of device drivers um, and, and source code that is associated with this device that up until now was proprietary, you couldn't get. Um, we've been working very hard to open that up. And for us, that's really a central idea, is openness, participation. Um, the kind of the umbrella brand we have is called Make, Play, Live. And the whole idea is that, you know, people should be encouraged to and have the ability to participate. Yeah. You know, life is about making things, it's about playing, and ultimately about living. And if we have devices that simply treat you like a consumer, thank you for buying our device, then we'll go buy something from our app store. I mean, that's not very human. Um, and so we design everything from this perspective of people. And, and so the openness is not just having the source code, which is very important to us, a key core component. Uh, the entire, everything above the kernel as well, of course, is open source and free software. When we design everything in the open, we do the development in the open, you can jump on our mailing lists, our IRC channels, you can clone our Git repositories, um, and that's just how we work. And we really encourage others who are looking for a device uh, to do a, you know, some sort of vertical application. This is a perfect opportunity to get involved, to participate, right, and actually yeah. make something happen. So are you actually targeting consumers in the first place, or are you right now only targeting developers, or do you, you want to actually, do you want to sell it straight to consumers from the beginning, right. or are you starting out? So our initial lines, we opened up pre-orders uh, this past month, and we actually closed it after just a few days because of the amount of orders, and we wanted to make sure we could actually deliver. How many that. did you get, actually? Uh, we cut it off at 3,000. All right. Just that we, we wanted to have the first first run of, of uh, devices able to be you know, sent to the people who actually pre-order. We didn't want people waiting. All right. um, but we've got, uh, since then, there's been a, a large number of orders thereafter as well. Um, and this is individuals, not the institutional uh, yeah. purchasers or vertical. So how's the response been so far? Has it been consumers mostly or devs? Or? So for the pre-orders, it was consumers only. All right. um, for devs and uh, people looking at vertical applications, be it, we're talking with uh, four different school systems at the moment, one in the US, three in Europe, and we're talking with some telcos here. Um, that's outside of that, right. outside of that demand. That was just consumers. Now, granted, this was primarily, um, initially, for the technical or the adopter crowd, uh, people that will be able to look at it, give us feedback, uh, maybe write apps for it, uh, but there are also influencers and decision makers, right? People probably who watch your, your video blogs, right? Um, so those are people who filled in the, the queue first, but our goal is absolutely the, the general consumer. And from day one, when we've designed the software, when we've been testing it, it's been with normal human beings that aren't technical, that aren't involved in the tech industry. Um, so that's been our, our, our target from day one. Now, right. we ourselves, it's kind of an interesting business model. We don't do the retail directly. We're actually building out a network of people, uh, companies, that are able to do the regional logistics with us. And similarly with the verticals, people who are looking to bring it into individual specific markets, we're working with them to develop the product rather than trying to do it all ourselves. Again, it's this whole concept of open participation. All right, so you said you were in pre-order. So when, it's, when is it going to be available and what, what's the pricing? First shipments in May. First shipments in May, yeah. all right. And the pricing? Uh, 200 euro in Europe. All right. Well, thank you, Aaron. Thank you. I'll see you around. Yeah, absolutely. And this was Roland with Netbook News, and this is the Spark tablet running KDE Plasma. See you.